Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we are just going to have a quick mess around with uh, the static RAM on uh, the video RAM for a Mega Drive 2 as well as uh, messing with the RAM for uh, the Z80. So we'll have a look see what we can do. So the game of choice is Sonic 1. Apologies in advance for the sound being a bit slow. I do live in a 50 hertz region. So let's begin. First off I'll start messing with the uh, Address lines. There we go. Crunchy. So that looks to be uh, address line 24 being tied to ground. Throw in a bit of static RAM distortion. Looking good. So address line 8 is still tied to ground. Oh, we didn't glitch him. Need to work out some sort of switch. I've got 8 cables I can tie to ground or each other. So many options. Oh, that happened when I... disconnected that address line from ground. Expect the unexpected. Let's try. Ooh, let's try your sign nine. Similar, yet different. So at the moment we're tying in twenty two of the uh, sound chip. Which is good old OE. Don't know what that is. But it's tying to ground nicely. Oh, set it free. Ah, that was pin 26. That one 
tends to reset. Let's grab a different cable. Ooh, that one splatters it everywhere. Dun, 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 dun. Whoops. I think I found Sega. Stored somewhere near pin 21. Whoa, it recovered? I was not expecting that. But I couldn't recover from that. <laughs> not a bad run. That is the Sega logo. Sega! Whoa, hey Sonic. Let's mess you up. Whoops. Yeah, that one kills it pretty good. Now coming back from that. Gosh, I haven't even tried half of these cables yet. Oops.
I like that one. Very nice. Lost my Sega sound. Oh, there it is. It's hiding on that freeze things pin. Dun, dun, dun. Oh well, thanks for watching. That's enough glitching for now. Guess I could bring you over and just give you a quick look at the uh, the hardware itself. So, as you can see, I've just got my ground cable there, which then messes up things along here and here, but only on certain pins. As you can see, I've got the pin out here. So, with Psych 3, I had Sega coming out of a10, so it would vary from game to game, uh, of course. But Danger Will Robinson, avoid those three there. And the address lines there were pretty good to me. And of course, we've got the uh, the VRAM, static VRAM over here with all these cables that you can just ground or join together to get an incredible mishmash of color. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want more, just say so. McRetro out.